Hello, let's talk about network effect. A lot of people believe that a network effect cannot go down except if someone will come up with something very, diff very different and improve it to a um, high scale that we cannot imagine, but it's very unlikely to happen, so the network effects cannot be brought down. Now, what is a network effect? Let's say Google. People are hooked onto Google in every aspect of their lives. They're surrounded with it. They use it all the time. So people believe Google cannot go down. Facebook is a network effect. Twitter is a network effect. And some people will go as far as Amazon. It's a network effect in shopping. People are hooked onto Amazon. Now what I say is there's nothing less forever. And I personally believe Google, Facebook, and Twitter, and Amazon will go down in our lifetimes. And I'm not talking about our lifetimes as um, 50 years from now. I'm talking in less than 25 years from now. So let's talk about Amazon. Why did Amazon become so big? First of all, they have a very attractive platform. Second, they let they let everyone sell everything. So you go on Amazon, you can find anything you want to buy. And third, they had amazing customer service. And then the fourth was also a big contributor was the effect of hooking up people with Prime memberships. And that made people shop more on Amazon. Now, what happened was that Amazon, the customer service uh, is getting worse and worse every day. I personally had very bad experience and I'm trying not to ch shop on Amazon because of that reason. And I can say I don't shop with them at all, but I try the least possible because I had terrible experience of customer service. I had issues and it, was, and it never got resolved. And I heard it from other people the same thing. People are complaining about Amazon's customer service. So Amazon, probably they became big. They thought they could do whatever they want. So they start neglecting customer service and that could bring the downfall. There could be other reasons as well. Just give you an example. So it doesn't mean Amazon is going to go bankrupt. Saying Amazon is just not going to be as big as they are. It will be another seller. But it's very possible in 10 years from now, most people, most of their shoppings will not be on Amazon. Now, Twitter, Twitter in general is doing bad. They don't really have anything to make people want to be on Twitter. So except for people like the whole idea of instant messages, people are kind of like leaving Twitter the way it is. And happens to be Donald Trump, when he started, when he ran for president in 2016 and he won, he used Twitter a lot and he built up Twitter. And I believe Twitter is going down not just for himself, by themselves for not being so attractive. The fact is because they're abusing their powers, that's going to bring them down. So look, for instance, they're censoring people and they're knocking off accounts. And they made the biggest mistake by knocking off Trump's account. And Trump went and he opened his own platform, a straight competitor to Twitter. Now, his platform only has an app on Apple, but not on Android. And they have a website, and, he had the, and they have over 3 million users already. It's a few months um, in the being, and they have already over 3 million. And literally, every two weeks, they increase another 200,000 views. Like 100,000 a week, probably, are adding. Somewhere in that number. That's what I've witnessed. And they still don't have an app for Android. So in their early stages, it's not even working so good, and people are leaving them because people are sick and tired of being censored and controlled. So Twitter is kind of burying themselves alive. So it looks to me like Twitter, within the next two years, they will be so down, and True Social will probably be as big as Twitter, if not bigger. It will be like two, two equal big ones, or could be big, Twitter will actually go bankrupt. I can't say it will, it will happen, but Twitter particularly, I don't really believe it has a big future and it's going to go down very quickly. Facebook, for instance, the Facebook platform, somehow it gets reported as gaining a lot, but then uh, gaining a lot of accounts, but the youngsters are not into, on Facebook. Most young people barely know how Facebook looks like. They all went to Snapchat and TikTok, and so Facebook seems like to be a dying uh, um, platform. But a lot of people are hooked on, meaning it's going to take a long time till the whole all the people who have it right now will stop using it completely. But people are more and more stopping using it, and they're probably all the new um, opening the new accounts are probably a bunch of fraudulent accounts. So there's nobody ever actually went and searched of all the fraudulent accounts, but it's very easy to open a Facebook account and just letting it go. So people do have a lot of there is a, a lot of fraudulent accounts. Like one person can have ten thousand Facebook accounts. So, but opening a lot of accounts doesn't mean anything. 
But the fact is shown more, more and more people are leaving Facebook. So Facebook is a huge corporation. They have Instagram and they started Metaverse and they have a whole bunch of other things they do besides the platform. That's why I say the platform of Facebook. But Facebook itself does have a big power over people and they're losing it because they're abusing their power. So they became very big. And instead of letting every and the reason why they became big is because they let everyone do whatever they want. And then when they became big, they stopped letting everyone do whatever they want and people leaving them. It's just people are so comfort and they're so... Um, they feel so comfortable using it and they're in their comfort zone so that's why people don't want to leave it people like it despite being censored but it's slowly pissing off more and more people the idea of being censored and controlled and told them, told them what to do so they're slowly leaving uh, Facebook so I believe in the next 10 years Facebook will not be it's going to be a, like a, a really small thing, you know, even and it could be their company as a corporation will be big and that could also be falling down. That is a whole different discussion. But the Facebook plus, platform might have a very small influence on anyone within the next 10 years. And it's funny, like a lot of people are switching to Telegram. Going away from Facebook, they go to Telegram. And Telegram is gaining a lot and they have already over 500 million users. Um, so we do see the fact that here you have Twitter and Facebook and here they're losing because people are not interested in being controlled. Now Google has the same thing but it's a very different type of network because it's search engine plus they have maps and all other and Gmail. Google I also believe they will not be lasting for too long because they're abusing their power. So one of the things, like when you search something on Google, let's say a definition of a word, they will give you a definition that they decide a definition is. So if they feel it's not politically correct or any of their stupidity agendas, it will come up different answers. A lot of things you search on Google, they will try, they will show you different things if it doesn't fit their agenda. If it's anything against their agenda, they will show you different things. And people are getting sick of it. And there's more even that most of the time when you search on Google, there will come up a whole bunch of ads. And sometimes the ads will be so many ads and they have nothing to do with what you search whatsoever. And you have to scroll down for like 20 pages. There used to be like two, but you have to scroll down like 20 pages to see all the ads. And then sometimes what they started doing is in the middle of the scrolling down, there's more ads. Like they see, okay, there is something that looks like similar to what I'm searching for, but then there's that. So there is DuckDuckGo. I don't know if you've heard of it, it's spelled D-U-C-K, D-U-C-K, G-O, like duck, duck, go, like two ducks going. It's a very funny word, but they are, they opened up to be a straight competitor to Google. And the reason why, because Google are uh, storing all your data and they search and they know everything, what you have, they have like literally completely your profile of a person. And they opened this alternative for somebody that doesn't want to be tracked and DuckDuckGo does not track whatsoever. So DuckDuckGo, for instance, has over 79 million users and they have over 100, close to 100 million searches a day. It's a huge number. It's not compared to Google, but it's a huge number coming, uh, being a competitor to Google. Now, Google itself has certain advantages, but I found that DuckDuckGo also has certain advantages. Whenever I search a number, any type of number, a phone number, anything related to numbers on my DuckDuckGo will give me way more accurate and way better answers than Google. In general, when I search something, I will not have so much ads on DuckDuckGo and they'll give me way better than I'm looking for. But Google has other thing that if, let's say, you misspelled uh, something, Google will know what you're looking for because they have AI technology. When you look on Google, since Google also have maps, and most people use Google Maps or even Waze, which is owned by Google. If you put something online, they will have the relating that they will see, oh, you're looking for this. The computer will, the search engine will right away realize that you're looking on a map. This is probably what you looked up on, on your search engine. So they will uh, give you directly the, the option of this place. So you don't have to type in the whole place that you're looking for. So this kind of things are certain convenience that people enjoy using Google. Um, so it's a matter of sacrifice that in a way, when you go and dug the go, you will not get so much uh, advantages when it comes to other stuff, using other stuff, because they don't track you. They literally don't track anything. They don't keep any of your information. So the question starts, do you want more freedom or do you want more convenience? 
But on the other side, Tagdego does have a lot of things that they search better. A lot of times, like literally even when I use Google as a main browser, I had Tagdego and can't see I went on Tagdego because Google didn't give me a normal answer and Tagdego did give me a normal answer. So I'm not going to come here and tell you what to use. What I'm saying is, and you think about the idea of uh, bringing down Google, Google went up so fast, like clearly they opened in 98, in 2005 they were already a big corporation, in 2008 they were already abusing their power. Doug the Gold opened in 2008, direct a competitor to Google because they abused their power. So as fast as it came, so fast it will go down. So I'm not saying they're going to go bankrupt uh, anytime soon, but I don't see it as being a long-lasting thing because they abuse their power. So all the network effects so far, nobody, no network effects have been brought down, but the internet is a very new thing. How old is the internet? It's like 30 years, maybe a little longer. And it's didn't, it took place as people using it a lot for like literally from the year 2000 to 2005, somewhere around that time when it became a huge influence in people's lives. So we can't really know. We we're really in the early stages of internet. And so far, look at, uh, let's say, Yahoo and AOL. They used to be the dominant search engines. And what are they now? Very small. So I'm not saying Google, they were never as powerful as Google is right now. But you see the fact that always someone knows coming up with something better and that person, that company takes over the other companies. But right now it could be just the idea of controlling. People will get sick and tired of being controlled and they will just leave Google. They will leave uh, Facebook, Twitter, and all those other um, network effects. So, because the fact is nothing lasts forever. So the same thing will happen to network effects. And the fact of abusing the power, that's the thing that will bring them down. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.